the essential YouTube traffic weapon. YouTube traffic weapon. Let me ask you something. Are you using YouTube as a marketing strategy for traffic generation in your business? Quite simply, YouTube is by far one of the most powerful and still underutilized platforms on the internet when it comes to online marketing. Notably, YouTube is the second biggest search engine on the net. As such, it's also the best platform for engaging in the act of video marketing, which, if you didn't know, is one of the most powerful tools for the persuasion of audiences for generating clicks and conversions. Consider the impact that video has on you in your own day-to-day -day life. Think about the placement of television sets in your world and how they're often a centerpiece of most living areas. How often have you started watching a TV show or documentary far too late in the evening and ended up staying up way past your bedtime just to get your fill of the action? YouTube also offers countless advantages towards social media marketing. For starters, it gives you the power to build a following that you can continuously market to in the future. It also allows you to leverage your connections through influential marketing and other strategies. This greatly differs from Facebook and Twitter, where there's a large element of luck involved. Acquiring marketing success on YouTube is all about having something interesting to say and then a unique way to deliver that message. If you have met this criteria and you've figured out how to package it, then YouTube can deliver you almost guaranteed continual success. The only downside? YouTube's success involves a little more work than some of the other strategies you might have tried in the past. With this ebook, then, you'll have your blueprint for success. As long as you are willing to execute the steps herein, you will be able to build a huge following and influence them as with no other strategy. Creating a YouTube Marketing Plan In this section, we're going to cover how you're going to use YouTube and what your marketing plan will be for success. There's a number of factors to consider here, and of course, the overall nature of your marketing plan is going to depend on the type of business or company that you're running, your goals, and so on. Additionally, your budget, resources, and other elements will also have an impact on the direction that you need to take when building your audience on YouTube and acquiring traffic and views. Regardless of the nature of your YouTube marketing strategy, you obviously need to start somewhere. So that's exactly what this course is going to help you do. For starters, if you're using YouTube video marketing to promote an existing business, then monetization isn't an issue for you. If you're new to the digital marketing, then you need to determine how you're going to benefit from the viewers and traffic that your videos get. Will you be promoting your website or products in the descriptions? Are you running advertisement-based videos for your products or for others? Will you be using YouTube ads to monetize the traffic that views your videos? Do you plan to interact on YouTube and have a presence there? Another part of your plan would be to determine how you're going to scale up your success of videos that attract larger audiences. It's especially helpful to have a good strategy in mind here. So ask yourself about how you're going to get your first 100 views, and then ask yourself how you'll grow that first 1,000 subscribers or followers. More importantly, consider the types of topics, products, or content that you're going to present in your videos. Are the topics going to be easy to rank for? Are they attracting enough of an audience to be worth your time? Is there a platform or network that you can cross promote your videos and media on for increased visibility and potential? For these factors, it can be useful to perform some market research and even keyword research by looking at your competition and even doing the traditional methods for digging and seeing the overall potential. Consider if there are other YouTube creators or channels that are making money from the platform in your same niche doing what you do. How successful have they been? Is there more opportunity for you to capitalize on that traffic? What niche or niches are the creators working in? How are they marketing their brand? Do they have their own products or how do they monetize their network? Take note that there's nothing wrong with borrowing a business model that's currently working and producing results. If there's a popular YouTuber out there in your niche that's making money from ebook sales or other sales like that, then make it a point to pay close attention to what they're doing. Even better, take a look at their older videos and see how they've gradually built their audience and network to the point that it's at now. Once you have your business model and plan in mind, 
you should begin to plot all of this out on a sheet of paper or an online resource for planning. This will give an actionable blueprint that you can follow. Make decisions here such as how many videos you will need to upload to reach your target audience. Think about what the topic of each of your videos will be and then go so far as to plot your trajectory over time. The more details you can make your step-by-step -step process for marketing on YouTube, the easier it will be to stay motivated and achieve results and success. Also remember that when you create this type of business plan, you should use estimates and projections that aren't overly optimistic. Make sure that your plan will work in a worst case scenario and don't put unnecessary stress upon yourself. This way, you can only be pleased by the results that you end up achieving. The Gray Hat Strategy for YouTube Ranking Success First off, let me just say that the reason it's called the Gray Hat is because there's a few different ways to go about it. Some of them are Black Hat and some of them are White Hat. The entire method here is just fine in regards to TOS on any video sharing or hosting platform, so there's no need to worry about that stuff. Now that you're sure of this, let's get right into it. In terms of creating a video, it doesn't matter what kind of video you upload to YouTube, this strategy will work for any video. Just make sure that your video is optimized in terms of production. That means you should have a clear call to action within the video or something that encourages your viewers to take action in some way or another. This is, of course, dependent on the goal of your video. Let's say you have a video created and you've set up your YouTube channel so that the home page is fully optimized. You should have an appropriate channel name, art, a description, connected social networks, and make it look like the channel is active, which it should be. Now, this is the important part. You have to do some relevant research for the optimization of your video. Let's assume you're uploading a video to YouTube as a part of your marketing strategy, which would be to gain views and oftentimes conversions. This would mean that you want the video to rank high in the search results and draw in unique visitors on autopilot. After all, that's one of the biggest benefits of video marketing as a whole when it comes to the internet. You're going to want to do some Google searches and YouTube searches for relevant keywords related to the topic of your video. This could be different variations of keywords or key phrases. You want to determine the amount of traffic that's possible for certain combinations and keywords on both of these platforms since they're essentially intertwined. During your search, you want to take note of several elements of the searches. Is there a video ranking for the keyword keywords on Google or YouTube page one? How many views do the top ranking videos receive? What is the like to dislike and comment ratio of the video's ranking? Are the comments and interactions recent? How well optimized is the video for these keywords? Is it ranking naturally or does it look like it has been up for a long time? Is the uploader of the video an established channel or not? All of these factors will help you determine if a keyword or set of keywords is worth your time. Overall, you just want to research and see if you can improve upon other campaigns or cash in on keywords that are wide open and have yet to have videos ranked for them. Now that you've done your research, you should have some keywords for the video that you plan to upload. When you upload the video, try to tie in the best keywords with the title. You should also include them naturally in the description. Do this by writing a short blurb about your video and place the keywords in there naturally and also make use of the tags feature that YouTube offers to you. This is where you want to enter the most relevant keywords to your video and message. It's super important that you don't start keyword stuffing during any of this though. Keyword stuffing is when you mindlessly place tons of keywords all over your video's description, title, and tags. In reality, this not only hurts your rankings, but it looks bad as well. Stick to a small pool of very targeted keywords for each video that you upload. In some cases, you could create multiple generic videos with a call to action and maybe different art or styles and then upload them with this method. This is where some marketers may consider this process to be a bit gray hat or even black hat. After your video is uploaded and you've optimized the keywords in the title, description, tags, and so on, you're ready to start the next step towards ranking. If you want to go to the natural white hat route, which is highly recommended, then what you want to do is share the video on all of your social networks. 
Proceed to embed the video on a relevant page or section of your website. Create natural engagements and encourage your audience to share your video as well. Patience is the most important factor with this part. Don't be afraid to network and reach out to other YouTubers politely to ask if they can help you out with your videos. In time, the more social signals and natural backlinks that you receive towards your video, the higher it's going to rank. If you're creating valuable content, then it shouldn't be a problem to get websites and other networks and people to share your content with their own audiences or friends. If you want to go a somewhat black hat route, then you can start purchasing backlinks or running SEO campaigns and pointing them to your videos. Some of the best outlets for buying these sort of backlinks in bulk would be Fiverr or even SEO clerks. You can even buy or attract different social signals and point them at your video. This is a major hit or miss and can be extremely risky, so use it with caution on your campaigns. As a whole, this method will work well if you put your own spin on it and have a lot of patience. If you target the right keywords and keep creating valuable content, then your audience will expand and you'll see loads of traffic on autopilot. Six overall methods for more YouTube views and traffic. YouTube has an excellent potential for creating awareness about a brand, goods, or services that a person offers. The challenge, however, is that there are thousands of videos existing on the platform and users keep on uploading more videos by the minute. Each of these users hopes to get views. So, how does one ensure his or her video is visible and attracting views or traffic? The following is just six tips for getting more views and traffic from YouTube. Conduct research for your video channel. The secret to attracting plenty of views to your video is first understanding the viewers. Doing so requires research to determine the purpose of the video. Target audience, the content value the audience seeks, and where besides YouTube is the audience found. Armed with this information, you can brand your videos in a way that it appeals to your targeted masses. A relatively easy method of researching is by analyzing YouTube videos with the most views or shares. Create quality and timeless videos. When it comes to the web, content is king. People see the videos because they hope to get value in the form of knowledge, entertainment, or nourishment. For this reason, the content should be valuable, of good audio and video quality, non-discriminatory, and one that cuts across religion, race, or gender. It is amazing how many YouTubers upload videos that fail to meet such standards and wonder why their videos are not attracting views. Remember, the easiest way to get more views is when the video goes viral and everyone is sharing or tagging their friends. No one wants to share poor quality or boring videos. Write engaging and detailed video descriptions. When you upload a video on YouTube, neither Google nor YouTube can watch or even listen to it. Instead, they rely on the text a person used to describe the video to understand and even rank the video. Since Google uses the words in the video description to list it, it is only prudent for a person to provide a detailed description. After all, if you took your time to make the video and upload it, spending a few minutes writing its story won't hurt. Besides, with a better ranking, you get more views. Optimize your video keywords. Although it pays to have a good YouTube ranking, it is more rewarding if the classification extends to Google and search engine searches. It is obvious that many websites' traffic comes from search engines like Google, which create page rankings dependent mainly on the keywords used. Therefore, if you want more traffic to your video, consider using appropriate video keywords that will give your video an edge in the search engine result page. An easy way of identifying the video keywords is to discover the keywords used by other YouTube videos appearing on the first pages of the search engine, and then Use those words in your video description. Capitalize on social media platforms. Social media platforms are useful tools for getting the message out to the masses. Platforms like Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Quora, WhatApps, Instagram, Pinterest, and many others are worth utilizing. Post links to your video on those platforms and even proactively ask the online community to view, like, comment, and even share with their friends and relatives. However, be careful not to spam the social media accounts of other users. A novel idea is joining communities and forums dealing with issues your video addresses. To a member's question, 
offer valuable answers, and post a link to your YouTube video that provides detailed information. Determine if there is a video ranking high on Google SERPs. As mentioned previously, a good indicator as to whether you can easily rank on page one of the Google search results if there's already a video up there or not. Furthermore, if there's a video ranking, how well optimized is it? Can you better optimize your video and boost its social signals? If so, you can easily outrank it. Closing words. In closing, you may have come into this not sure how you should approach YouTube or how you can implement it into your business. At this point, you should not only have a game plan in mind, but you should also have some idea as how to plan to market and drive traffic to your videos on this awesome platform. There's really not a ton to know about YouTube, aside from the basics of setting up your channel, connecting your networks, and creating content regularly. While this provides a basic overview of YouTube, there are tons of tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to get more out of it. You should also always make it a point to monitor your results and check out the increasingly thorough analytics that YouTube provides for you in your dashboard. This can help you determine where your traffic is coming from and how you might be able to scale up or even modify your current campaign or campaigns to benefit even further. To sum it all up, you should be focusing on the following. Creating high quality videos. Uploading as regularly as possible. Taking a systematic approach doing basic SEO, sharing to social media, building a community, coming up with interesting topics and titles, networking and forming partnerships. What you'll find as you do all this as well is that it can be highly rewarding in its own right. As soon as you add a well-made video to your homepage, your entire business will look more serious and professional and you'll feel much more capable. The payoff here for marketing videos on YouTube is absolutely massive, so don't wait any longer. Jump in and get started with video marketing sooner rather than later. Trust me, you'll be thanking yourself for taking action.